Hey guys, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for xenon tetrafluoride. So here we go. We've got xenon tetrafluoride. So that's going to give us a total of 8 valence from the xenon, 8 valence electrons plus 4 fluorides, fluorines rather, with each with uh, 7 valence electrons for a total of 36 valence electrons okay and we can subtract out the largest multiple of eight which is going to be 32 leaving us with four electrons remaining divide that by two it gives us two and 32 is eight times four so that means that this is going to be an a x four this four comes from this four here e two this two here meaning that there's gonna be a central atom four surrounding atoms this is where the four is, and then there's going to be two non-bonding electron pairs on the central atom. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw this structure. So we have the uh, xenon in the center, surrounded by the four fluorines. And we can go ahead and single bond all of those. And let's fill in the remaining shells, the electrons for the fluorines. So there's your eight. 16, 24, 32 electrons. So we still have to do these four more electrons, and, and that's where these two non bonding pairs are going to come in. So let's put a non bonding pair there and there. And at first, you might think that this might, is wrong because you can't have more than eight electrons on an atom, but because xenon has access to the d orbital, it can actually hold more than eight. So this is why all of these electrons are able to sit on this xenon, okay? So let's go ahead and check the formal charges. So we can do the formal charge of uh, xenon first. So that's going to be uh, eight valence electrons brought in, minus one, two, three, four bonds, minus one, two, three, four non-bonding electrons for a total overall formal charge of zero. And we can now check the formal charge on each of the uh, fluorines because they're all, they all have the same setup, so the formal charge will be the same for, all, for each of them. So it's seven valence electrons brought in, minus one bond for each, each fluorine atom, minus one, two, three, four, five, six non-bonding electrons for each fluorine for overall formal charge of zero. And remember, times that times four, but that's still going to be zero. So the, the overall formal charge of this compound is going to be zero, which is what we're looking for because it's not a charged particle. It's just it's neutral. Okay. Now we can talk about the structure or the shape rather. So this is going to be uh, ax4 e2. Looking at this shape, it's going to be a square planar shape, and square planar shapes come with bond angles. that are equal to uh, 90 degrees in between each bond because this these two electron non-bonding pairs are going to be on top and on bottom of this square plane of bonds to the fluorines okay in terms of hybridization we're going to have there's one two three four five six bonding sites so that means sp3 d2 hybrid orbitals so one s three p's two d's total of six hybrid orbitals okay and in this case, because there's all these outer surrounding atoms are all the same, they're all fluorines, and these upper and lower um, non-bonding pairs will cancel each other out, that's going to make this a non-polar compound. All right, um, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, let me know, and thanks for watching.